Let's start with the feeling on the ground. How has it been? Well, I think the big question, Mark, after 12 years of preparation is, will everything go okay? And so my top takeaway is, yeah, things worked pretty well. Uh, the shuttle flight system to get fans in and out of the country, the metro system to get them uh, to the games in a way. Yes, there have been some growing pains. There was some issues with the ticketing app. But for the most part, things went really okay. well. Um, another takeaway, though, that I'm going to be looking at is, is there have been some empty seats in the stadiums. And does that mean that there aren't fans here? Does that mean that uh, they haven't come to spend money in Qatar? I think that's a kind of a question mark for us going forward, though I will say the, f the games that I've been to have been quite well attended. Okay, I've sat on queues on the D-ring, so I don't blame people if they leave a little bit early, Simone. I know a lot has changed in 10 years. <laughs> what about the politics? Never far away from this particular World Cup. No, and really the rainbows becoming the dominant issue um, between Western journalists and Qatar. Um, we've seen teams start to push back against FIFA's decision uh, to essentially ban uh, rainbow armbands on the field. Do, do we get some more uh, developments there with respect to teams maybe flouting those rules? I think that remains to be seen. Another important one for me, though, a lot of people had criticized Qatar for not having a, a legacy of a football pedigree, as you will, but I think it's proved very clear over the past couple of days that this region really cares about football. Both the reaction, the holiday that we saw in Saudi Arabia after that team stunned Argentina and also the reception the, the, uh, to, to uh, Iran's team not singing the uh, national anthem showing just how mm. important football is yeah. for Iran as well. And let's save some time for the fans, Simone. You've been uh, taking in some interesting fan <laughs> stories. Yes, I have. But you know, the one I think that has caught everyone's eye here has been the Japanese fans cleaning up the stadiums after the match. This has gone viral on social media. They actually pick up the trash after the games, even after their stunner against Germany. This is something that, you know, Japanese fans apparently have done for quite a while, but I didn't know about it. Everyone I've talked to has just talked about how this image was so powerful for them.